Perfume, perfume. Maybe she has her own perfume out. Is that Tasmania? My glorious stature doesn't register in my humble beginnings. I was expected to be known by my Italian works, but turned away and followed my own royal path by popular demand. Yeah, it's Tasmania, but tinsel, wrap, it's tinsel. And I have been rewarded with the rarest of metals. Princess Mary, she's from Tasmania. I remember the cold times as a child. And yet, I was never cool. Yes, I have known the highs and the lows, sometimes at the same time. She was low, she was high. Is she a diabetic? Could be. I'm getting low right now. <laughs> Life doesn't take you where you think it will, even if you'll be a queen one day. What about Tina Arena? She's big in France. Screams queen to me. Thirteen times I've been a bridesmaid, but never the bride. Now it's my turn. I'm already a queen, but I will be crowned the most Map of Tasmania have the tinsel on it. Is there something... Map of Tasmania has tinsel on it? Yeah. Maybe there's something big over Christmas in Tasmania, or... Do you know what Map of Tasmania is? Is that...? <laughs> Here we go. I've been trying to call. I've been on my own for long enough. Maybe you could show me how to love me. I'm going through this drops You don't even have to do too much You can turn me on with just a touch Baby I look around and since it is cold and empty No one's around to judge me I can't see clearly when you are gone Oh, oh, I said Absolutely majestic, magnificent. You've blown me away, actually. I wasn't expecting that voice. And when you really hit those high notes, we were all like, what? I, I have no idea who you are at this point in time. All I can think of is Rachel Taylor. It's the only Tasmanian I know. And then there was tinsel around Tasmania. So I'm thinking, has she gone from Tasmania to Hollywood? Danny, what did you think? I feel like I need to curtsy, Mum. Like, it was very royal, and when she, like, scooped up to that big note, it was epic. Absolutely. The voice matched the outfit. Brilliant. After listening to that, I have no clue. Tasmania was just there to throw me. I was going to go for salmon, but I don't think it is salmon <laughs> at all. What are we doing here? Princess Mary. <laughs> Royalty. She will be a queen eventually. She sings like that. I don't know. I mean, she got herself a prince, so... Mary's from Tasmania. Maybe. That's a good one. What did you make of the clues, Danny? Oh, Inspector Manuka's back! Woo! OK, I'm excited. OK, so I am thinking one of the Veronicas. Jess or Lisa? Yeah, one of them. <laughs> <laughs> Lisa? You sound so sure! <laughs> <laughs> I love it! Who's Jess, behind the mask? No, Jess. Jess from the Veronicas. 
Okay, Husey, Danny's clearly staked out the Veronicas. Danny's being greedy in her Veronicas here. <laughs> Tina Arena. Tina Arena, are you under that mask? What about you, Ursula? No, I have no clue. I mean, up until now, I was still on Joel Creasy. <laughs> 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 and I was thinking Natalie and Brulia because of the Italian thing. Lock it in for 10 points. Thank you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> the clues have obviously really stumped you guys. So how about, do you have a question maybe the yeah. Queen could answer? I've, I've got one. Were you on Celebrity Apprentice? I certainly served my apprenticeship, but it wasn't on TV. Oh, OK. No. So no. But she served her apprenticeship. She could be a tradie. Yeah. <laughs> what yeah. would she be? I don't know. It's difficult to see because I can't see the crack. <laughs> <laughs> she could be a plumber. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Our panel thought that one of these celebrities might be behind the mask. Who do you think it is? Who is that? The only thing I have to say at this point is checkmate, Mr. Hedgehog. They're wearing long beards like ZZ Top. Nobody puts baby in the corner. Is it Jennifer Grey from Dirty Dancing? I'm comfortable in public. Crowds don't bother me. Although I do like to travel by coach. By coach? Yes. Oh. Yes, there have been many stages in my life. Oh, rugby. Is she a wag? Or maybe she's from New Zealand. Everyone plays rugby then. But my sporting heritage cannot be denied. This is not my first time at being piggy in the middle. What colours are those? South Sydney Rabbitohs. Rabbitohs. But I didn't let that experience stand in my way. Every queen reaches for the stars. Standing on the shoulders of our loyal you lose. But tonight will be my checkmate. Oh, I'm pumped up for this. Who is under that mask? I see a red door and Anymore, I want them to turn black. I see the girls walk by dressed in their song clothes. I have to turn my head until my darkness grows. I see a line of cars and they're all painted black. With flowers and my love, both never to come back. Whoa. I see people turn their heads, quickly and run away. I can't move, baby, just help me every
take the knee before you, Queen. I had goosebumps from the top of my head to the bottom of my shiny, shiny shoes. Ursula, I know it's been a while since we've been to a gig, but that must have felt good. That was I was scared she's going to blow the masks off the people sitting in the front. That was so, so good. Well done. I don't know where you pack it, because you're a tiny package, but there's a big voice in there. I'm so blown away, Husey. I can, I'm still coming down from that. Mate, it was so powerful and it got so high. I lived about 10 kilometres from the studio and I know my dogs are out of tension right now. <laughs> <laughs> Those clues were super, super cryptic tonight, Danny. Oh, you know what's happened on this show before where I just have to say, you know what? Let me listen to the voice. So hear me out here because this yeah. might throw you. But I heard... Bjork. <laughs> Did we have clues last week where there was like the cold? She grew up in the cold. And she's tiny. She's yeah. really small. <laughs> Ursula, tell me what you saw there. Well, there was a, a big sports theme going on. Um, a lot of stages around the world. To me, it leans to Kim Kardashian. <laughs> <laughs> because yeah. of the basketball connection, all her... His yeah, sister's and, boyfriend's a basketball. Yeah, and, and also she was married to that great athlete for 72 hours. <laughs> um, nobody puts baby in the corner. She's named all her kids' directions, didn't she? <laughs> Jackie, what was in the clues that made you think twice tonight? The rabbitos colours, oh. which she yet to tell me what they were. The South City rabbitos, yeah. It's Russell Crowe's team. So could it be Russell Crowe? But he's bigger than that. Check so. yourself, Yuzi. Check yourself. <laughs> Maybe she's performed at the NRL Grand Final. That could have been a clue. Or maybe you were onto something with the Russell Crowe theme, though. Maybe it's his ex, Danielle Spencer, oh. who's such a good singer. So and talented. her dad, Don Spencer, who is royalty, musical royalty in this country. Yeah. She's talented, absolutely. I'm going to go for Danielle Spencer. <laughs> Let's see if we can't get just a little bit more intel out of Queen, your, your Majesty. Would it be okay if you please told us something about yourself, uh, something that we just don't know? Who is that? I've been to a polo club, but I've never played polo. That's like me and the gym. I've been <laughs> to one. <laughs> And she's into horses or she's, I think she's been, she, there's, a, there's wealth. Yeah. Well, it's a very royal thing, isn't it, polo? Is it Camilla Parker Ball? <laughs> Danny Minogue, who is behind the mask? Okay, I want to bring some sense here. There are not many people that can sing like that. And I think Björk can, who I mentioned before, but Kate miller Heidke who's oh. performed at Eurovision. She has soaring notes. Yes. Now, are you seeing what I'm seeing rather than what you said, like Camilla Parker Bowles? <laughs> that, that, is hurt, that is hurtful. Sing Go say that. We're, like we're, that. We're is that your hurt face? I'm hurt. I'm saying yeah. it right now. <laughs> Our panel thought that one of these celebrities might be behind the mask. Who do you think it is? She rolled the towel, it looked like a baby. Achieving that is not a fly-by-night operation. Is that Neil Armstrong? Or even 12 nights. As befitting a queen, my first professional performance was for Britain. Maybe she represented Australia in Eurovision. I took the applause, not knowing if I could make it last. Seriousness. That's weird. I will not have it! I am the Queen! I'm not just one of the crowd! And I intend to stand out tonight! 
fight. The French are glad to die for love. Quite continental, but diamonds are a girl's best friend. A kiss may be grand, but it won't pay the rental on your humble flat or help you feed your real pussycat. Men grow cold as girls grow old, and we all lose our charms in the end. But square cut or pear shaped, these rocks don't lose their shape. Diamonds are a girl's best friend. Oh, Tiffany's. Oh, oh, Cartier. Talk to me, Harry Winston. Tell me all about it. Woo sexy. A time when a lass needs a lawyer. <laughs> I can't bow down enough to you once again, my queen. You're, I appreciate that. You're amazing. I'd kiss the ring, but it is COVID time, so I can't. <laughs> that was fantastic, Ursula. Listen, that was, oh, I love it. As soon as I saw the queen, I'm like, oh, she's here on casual Friday. She looks amazing. <laughs> I love it. Daddy, what did you make of that? That performance was epic. I mean, I heard opera in there. Makes me think of Kate Miller Heidke. You know, because like great. who else can get off a moon? And she did stuff at Eurovision, and she talks about many stages. And that microphone was it always like that every performance? Did I no, miss that? No, it's getting no, flasher and flasher. No, it's yeah. just for this one. Diamonds are a girl's best friends. Well, Harry Winston, tell me all about it. <laughs> <laughs> so Ursula, you've seen those clues now. Anything yes. you catch your eye? Yeah, you know, the size and everything makes me think it could be Ellen DeGeneres. Whoa. <laughs> because the country that have always supported her is Australia, you know, because she married one of your girls from Geelong. Yuzi, <laughs> what about the clues made you think twice tonight? There was a book about something about Joe Green and that made me think, is it Joe Green or is it Joe Dirt? And you need dirt to get green. And that made me think of David Spade, who played Joe Dirt. Made me think of his Aussie girlfriend, Nikki Whelan, who spent time on Neighbours, spent time oh. in England. Rory Longbow, but I like where you ended up. She does sing, so I don't know what the Queen references are, but, you know, you give me points for trying. <laughs> Queen's actually brought in a personal clue all the way from her palace. Bring out the clue! Oh, what's in there? It's a crown, diamonds. Oh, oh hang on, let me have a close look here. What is it? Diary. It's a diary, guys. Diary. It's a diary. There's a love letter. It's in French. It's a love letter in French. Was her boyfriend Manu? No. <laughs> Tina Arena speaks French. She has Italian heritage. We'd thought about her before. Tina's a queen, there's All no doubt. All songwriters keep diaries, yes. they write notes. Tell me, Queen, what is it that we're looking at here? These are the very first love letters I ever received and a reminder of an important time in my life. Could be anything, really. I had a pen pal that lived in France. Who knows? You might want to explain to the younger viewers what, what a pen, pen pal, pal is. Oh, <laughs> oh my God, I'm showing my So age. back in the day, there was a piece of paper. You <laughs> could write on a piece of paper, long, you put it in another piece of paper, <laughs> and someone would put it on a... Never mind. <laughs> Jackie, who's behind the mask? Because it's so theatrical, I was thinking Lucy Durack. She's performed for the Queen. So that would make sense with the Britain reference. Great one. That's a really good one. Ursula? Uh, I reckon that's Ellen DeGeneres. Good one. Yeah. Okay, so Danny, who's behind the mask? Oh, this show is tricky. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, it does your head in. I was so sure, and I flipped one way and the other between 
Jess from the Veronicas to Kate Miller Heidke. But I tell you, I flipped right back to Tina Arena now. She's married to a French guy now. She would definitely have kept a diary. She lived in Britain for a long time. I saw her there many times. I think Danny's, yeah, gonna, Danny's really onto it I reckon... with Queen. <laughs> Our panel thought that one of these celebrities might be behind the mask. Who do you think it is? Being in the spotlight can play with your head. You don't know who you are from one month to the next. But I had one principle from the Nobody wants to go pop! Maybe she's never let her head get too big. Massive head. She's got sinus problems. The Masked Singer is tough. Especially getting near the pointy end. There are those beards again. It's a very zizzy top. It's like facing gladiators in the Colosseum. I hope nobody calls me terrible. She had a song. All terrible. But you never have to tough it out alone when your heart is in harmony with another. <laughs> Growing up, I rejected dance, but still ended up being a dancing girl. I have never met a dance I didn't enjoy. Okay, so maybe she's a dancer, loves dancing. When you're the queen, you can do anything. But choosing what to do, that's tough. We all write our own future. And you can write it as you like it. Who writes with a quill these days? I really think she's a songwriter. My immediate future is on the stage tonight. Impressing you, my loyal subject. Nobody calls me terrible. You're terrible, Muriel. That is a good clue. I love when you crack it. Clues are getting bigger. I stay up too late. Got nothing in my brain. That's what people say. Shake it to the fella over there with the hella good hair. Won't you come on over, baby? We can shake, shake, shake. friend on Facebook. Oh, the semi-finals are here. You have stepped it up. I'm a sucker for a chandelier and I'm loving yeah. that you brought them all out. Is that a clue though? The chandeliers. Everything's a clue on this show. You know that. Everything's a clue. Are you thinking about the SIA? Oh, I am thinking of the SIA. <laughs> See ya. I love how you, you had to say that. <laughs> so it goes our players at home can't spell. <laughs>
This is where it started adding up for me, though, with Sia. Talking about the dancing girl, which is Maddie Ziegler. Then we saw the shoe boxes when talking about dancing, and she's released her own line of dance shoes. We know she writes songs, she can sing really well. We're going with Sia. Ursula, what yes. were the clues that really caught your eye? The number one thing was the song. I think that was a very definite clue. The Taylor Swift song, that is Lord. And her and Tate are best friends, so I think that's why oh, she picked yes. that song. Oh, yeah. Wow. Pretty good deduction there, Ursula. I'm proud of you. Danny, challenge has been set. Okay, Queen. Someone who grew up in Queensland. Gladiator, there was a clue about gladiators and she had an EP called How to Tame Lions. I was getting a Megan Washington vibe. Great singer, Megan Washington, she's a superstar. Here's the thing guys, each one of our masters giving us a moment of truth tonight. So Queen, if you would please be so kind. My great grandfather was an early member of the Communist Party of Australia. He loved Stalin and taught himself Russian from books. Famous communist in Australia. I just can't believe Lord's grandfather was Australian. <laughs> <laughs> in the clue package you said, I hope nobody calls me terrible. I thought of one person, Muriel. Your terrible Muriel. Muriel's Wedding, the great Australian movie starring Tony Collette. <laughs> In the package also, it says you don't know who you are from one month to the next. United States of Tara is a series that Tony Collette oh, yes. did in America yes. where she played someone with multiple personalities. <laughs> this is Tony Collette, singer, songwriter, superstar, and she's on our show. I just love how excited he gets. So I really excited. do. This is big. <laughs> Our panel thought that one of these celebrities might be behind the mask. Who, is that? Who, is that? Who do you think it is? Who is that? Who is that? I have so much fun out there. I am the queen and the trophy will be mine. Oh, the axe. Maybe she got the axe from something. Oh, that's a bit harsh. As the Queen, my royal duties can be demanding. I have lost count of how many times I have helped my fellow man. Oh, red, oh, cards. red cards. Has she gotten in trouble or been sent off? I might be the Queen, but I couldn't do it without help. We all need helpers. Being a Queen gives me access to the greatest designers and stylists. Do you like my dress? I also look good in white, which I've worn more than once. I do love a wedding. Oh, maybe she has been married. We always thought Queen wasn't married before. But, to be honest, I didn't do badly in a divorce either. Gold digger. Oh. <laughs> I was singing before I could speak. Wow, she started young. But would that be my future? With my voice? There would be no arias for me. I want an aria. It's not always about the voice. I am the queen, and I will win the Masked Singer, even if it's my last day on Earth. You promised the world, and I fell for it. That voice. I put you first, and you adored it. Set fires to my forest. And you let it burn, sang off key in my chorus Cause it wasn't yours, yeah We'd always go into it blindly I needed to lose you to find me This dance was keeping me softly I needed to hate you to love me To love, love you, to love, love you I gave my all and they all know it Then you tore me down 
and now it's showing And two months you replaced us Like it was easy, made me think I deserved it In the thick of healing So moved, guys. I don't know about you, but that was extraordinary for me. Ursula, what was that like? That was something else, wasn't Mate, it? That was beautiful. And everything, the whole stage, the setup, the voice, everything was so classy. I look at those two trapped in the bed sheets and I'm like, I'm going to try that at the Airbnb. <laughs> <laughs> that was amazing. Danny, tell me about the clues you saw, though, Danny. What was the detective and you doing? Oh, clues! Okay, um... The new clue was Last Day on Earth, and Kate Miller Heidke had a song called Last Day on Earth. Oh, she did! That is one of the best songs. That is an amazing song. And I think everyone's thinking Kate Miller Heidke, but I don't think it is. I think it's someone who wants us to believe it's Kate Miller Heidke, but isn't. She is tricky, this queen. Kate Miller Heidke. She's got no arias. She keeps saying no arias. I mean, I have won an aria, so it's not fair if she hasn't won an aria and I have. It is not fair, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Jackie, what were the clues that you saw there? I noticed the red card, and I'm no major sports fan, but I do think the red card is when you're sent off in soccer, and the Veronicas were sent off the plane. Yes. It was a misunderstanding, I think. It was so. a misunderstanding, it not their fault. It always is when it's a fight on a plane. <laughs> And I also noticed a big clue, which was I've worn white more than once. And Lisa from the Veronicas married her husband twice. She had two wedding ceremonies. Two buffets. Ooh. Yeah. I think it is Lisa from the Veronicas. I like where you guys are going, but we have another clue to come from Queen. Ooh. Queen, please tell us who is your celebrity connection? When Jay-Z and I played the same gig, he was very persuasive. <gasps> but I worked that crowd just as hard. When could this person possibly have shared stage with Jay-Z? Coachella. It's got to be Coachella. That massive gig in California. Yeah. It could be that they weren't on stage at the same time as Jay-Z, but shared the same stage. Yeah, they were on which, the billing. Yeah. Which points to Coachella. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. You know what I thought about somebody new? She sung at Coachella, who's known for dressing in black, awarded the rarest of metals. She's won two Grammys, and she's the other queen of New Zealand. This is... Lord. This is Lord. Whoa. Good guess, big guess. Inspector Minogue is back. <laughs> you got it. What about you, Ursula? Well, I'm going to focus on the look good and white. And I think it's from an album, The Sound of White, Missy Higgins. Oh. Great singer. And it says that she likes to help people, and one of her songs is Carry You. Well, if that's not helping people, then <laughs> I don't know what. And she's got the voice for it. I can't believe it. And when it says no arias, I think it's more, she didn't complete that sentence. It's no arias that I wasn't thankful for. <laughs> <laughs> The Queen has the giggles! The Queen is giggling! I love it! Our panel thought that one of these celebrities might be behind the mask. Who do you think it is? I did it my way. She's an independent woman. The sound of white has been very good to me. Where is my king? Perhaps there was a legal separation, but the wedding was something special. Well, I 
us that wedding clue again. Even if it's not forever! I have been accused of having no seriousness! She's got some serious talent, though. Me? The Queen? Is that a football? It's either a sportswoman or a wag. I rule the whole country with fairness. Although I do prefer the metropolitan area. I am independent and the master of all I survey. And I shall soon be awarded another crown. The Masked Singer. Somebody said that you've got a new friend. Does she love you better than I can? Oh, wow. There's a big black sky over my town. I know where you're at. I bet she's around. Oh. And yeah, I know it's stupid. I just gotta see I'm in a corner watching you kiss her. Oh, I'm a little bit eager. Why can't you see me? Oh, I'm getting it my but I'm not the girl you're taking off. Oh, I keep dancing on my Queen, unbelievable tonight. Danny, what did you think? Uh, all I can say is, yes, Queen. <laughs> you bring it. You are made for singing these songs. Like, your interpretation of everything you do is just incredible. I bow down. <laughs> we all do. We all do. Dave, what did you think? Well, I can connect to the words because I'm often dancing on my own. But you know what? <laughs> I deserve to dance alone, not you. With a voice like that, you should be surrounded by thousands and thousands of adoring mm. fans, and I'm sure you are most of the time. I feel like, Queen, you're really letting us hear your true voice now. Like, it's coming to the forefront more and more with each performance. But it's really stumping me the clues about the marriage, the divorce. Last week, there was a mention of married twice or more than once, which really does add up to Lisa from the Veronicas to me. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's really hard to not think it's her. I have been listening to the experts here, and Danny Minogue said it's opera meshing with pop, which made me think of an opera singer. That voice sounds like an opera singer. I cannot go past Greta Bradman. She is a brilliant opera singer. Also, all the white talk, her granddad, Don Bradman, white, cricket whites, what they wear. Her granddad was the king of the yes! whites. Big, big detective work from you, Husey. Absolutely. That all adds up. I'm with you, Husey. I'm with you. Now, yeah. Ursula, tell let's me. Let's get what... some facts down let's here, get, mate. Let's, let's find facts with Ursula. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fact finding. <laughs> well, if we look at the facts, Missy Higgins' first album, Sound of White, 
and she was independent, Triple J. Her break was on Unearthed, which would be the spinning globe. Mm. And then with the, the divorce and the mar you know, there's a lot of talk about that. One of her songs is called Cemetery. Yeah? That would sort of sum up marriage, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> hello, hello, Miss oh. Higgins. Hey. <laughs> I love it. Uh, but I'd love to get, it, like, a little more personal with you, if you don't mind, Your Majesty. Can you tell me, behind the mask, who are you? I'm obsessed with the art of storytelling. And music is my medium. Stories lift me up, give me hope, and make me feel less alone in the world. Wow. That's deep, it really. She's deep. Really yeah. yeah. Is it J.K. Rowling? <laughs> <laughs> it felt like it was an author. This is, this is <laughs> someone who words. loves telling stories. Well, singers who sing songs and then there's singers who tell stories. Yeah. Stories is more normally to do with country music, but I thought songwriter and the wedding thing makes me think of Muriel's weddings, telling stories through the music. So oh. I was thinking Kate miller Heidke because she wrote the music for Muriel's wedding. Oh, did the, she? Yeah, the stage play. Oh. Even the moose is going, yep, <laughs> nodding. <laughs> <laughs> Our panel thought that one of these celebrities might be behind the mask. Who, is that? Who, is that? Who do you think it is? Who is that? Performances quickly set her on a path to supremacy. Week in, week out, she wowed the panelists with her operatic take on big hits. In my mind, say it's going to be all right. Oh, that's a bit harsh. Queen quickly established herself as a tough cookie. She always has an eeriness to her and this sort of darkness, which I love. But in her third performance, Queen surprised everyone. A kiss. Showing lightness and fun. Quite content. And her legs. Diamonds are a girl's best friend. Oh, I love it. As soon as I saw the Queen, I'm like, oh, she's here in Casual Friday. She looks amazing without the skirt. I love it. Oh, I'll help you. Pussycat. Queen was showing us that she is here to party. There's a fun side to her, too. I I'm with you, girl. I, I want to come to your party. I had so much fun out there. Even a queen needs to let her hair down from time to time. I'm glad that I can show people my dance moves. Over the weeks, Queen's clues had the panel mainly confused. There was a, a big sports theme going on. And then there was tinsel around Tasmania. Could it be Russell Crowe? But he's bigger than that. Check <laughs> yourself, Fusey. Check yourself. But Inspector Minogue had another cunning tactic. You know what? Let me listen to the voice. It's just she wasn't always sure which voice she heard. I heard Björk. Kate Miller Heidke, one of the Veronicas. I was getting a Megan Washington vibe. And this is Lord. Some of the judges' guesses have been artists I admire deeply and look up to. I don't know what the Queen references are, but you know, you give me points for trying. <laughs> As the panel blew hot and cold with their guesses, our Ice Queen continued to thaw with a semi-final performance that melted hearts voice when queen sang selena gomez love you to love me i mean just goosebumps from head to toe she just shone i mean we were really connecting more with her and i think she had a more of a warmth to her by that point Tend to be 
confident. If I take out the title, I promise you, Australia, I will not be the Ice Queen. I will be the Queen of your heart. me to a new world. It is part of something that has made me unique. Showbiz is tough. Fame is fleeting. You could say it's here today, gone tomorrow. Or maybe not. Do I like talk shows? One revealed my deepest, darkest secret. And I felt cornered. Now, your queen stands before you. With just two challengers to defeat. I cannot wait to see the real face of the Queen. And I feel the same way when I am the Queen. Grandiose. And a little ridiculous. There's nothing ridiculous about this show. <laughs> the wackiness appeals to me. Love the whack. The whack is underrated. Wackiness appeals to me. I think she's in love with you, Dave. <laughs> Gave me permission to perform in ways I never have before. Somebody said that you've got a new friend. I can see elements of myself in Her Majesty. I'm the but I think I'm softer and more gooey on the inside. I can be a nervous performer. And I need time to warm up and calm down. I can't believe she says she gets nervous. This is the queen. Now, prepare yourself for your queen's final entrance. Oh, I cannot wait.
Jackie, how good was that? Uplifting, right? Hands down, the best performance Masked Singer has ever seen. I love you, Queen. Ursula, you must have heard that all the way from New Zealand. Oh, I did. And, and this is the first time I'm going to say this on national television to another woman, but I did not know you had that under your skirt or in your lungs. <laughs> <laughs> And Danny, what was that like for you? That is grand finale magic! Queen! We are not worthy. Dave, we've seen so many clues, so many incredible performances from Queen. What do you know about her? I know that she's a superstar. Um, I know that she gets nervous uh, and she shouldn't get nervous when she's got that much talent. And I've been through a journey guessing different people for you, but the first singer I ever locked in was the one and only Tina Arena, who is a queen of singing in this country. There was a clue, uh, Gladiators in the Coliseum, Tina Arena has an Italian background. She's a legend, she's got her own perfume. I saw some perfume in one of the clue packages. I think this is Tina Arena. And what about you, Danny? What do you know about Queen? One clue was a real queen. And uh, this lady has been named Queen of the Woodford Folk Festival. Fact! Another clue was 12 stars on the blue background. That has to be the European flag for Eurovision. And one that I really love, and this was tricky in the beginning, the map of Tasmania with tinsel. And this lady released a tongue-in-cheek song called I'm Growing a Beard Down There for Christmas. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, why not? Down there, down there, you mean? Like... So that leads me to Kate miller -Heidke. Excellent detective work. This is like the last time we're going to hear from Queen while she's still behind the mask. So, Queen, is there anything you'd like to say? There's a lot to escape in the world today. And I feel so lucky. Queen has made me feel strong, powerful, and resilient. And I'll carry a piece of her with me forever. So heartwarming. That's so beautiful, man. Jackie, who's behind the mask? One thing that I noticed in the new Clue package was her saying the wackiness appealed to me. And I do think that Kate Miller-Heidke embraces things like this. Eurovision now mask singer. I'm locking in Kate. What about you, Ursula? Who's behind the mask? I'm going back to Lord. I've guessed her before and I want to throw her out there again. It's obviously a young lady with a strong core who likes excitement. It is Lord. <laughs> Hi, Lord. Uh, Danny. <laughs> Who's behind the mask, Danny Minogue? Ursula, you're making me change my mind now. Stop it! <laughs> okay, <laughs> stick to it, Minogue. I am locking in the same as Jackie, Kate Miller Heidke. Ooh, the power couple have spoken, Osher. <laughs> Our panel thought that one of these celebrities might be behind the mask. Who, is that? Who, is that? Who do you think it is? Who is that? Who is that? Queen, it is time for you to take off that mask. This is your final chance, panel. Ursula, who's behind the mask? Who is Queen? Well, I'm going to stick with Lord. She writes all her own music. She's got the royal thing. She's been to a wedding. Her parents, that is Lord from New Zealand. Jackie, what about you? Who do you think it is? She said, even if it's my last day on Earth, last day on Earth is a Kate Miller Heidke song, and that voice is our biggest clue. It's Kate Miller Heidke. <laughs> What about you, Husey? Who is it? Italian connection, French connection. I think it might be Tina Arena, but you are the best. This is it. Your last chance, Danny. Who is behind the mask? Who is Queen? 
Okay, um, this is the queen of pop opera, Kate Malahide! <laughs> Very, very confident from our panel, but are they right? Are they wrong? What do you think, Australia? We are about to find out. Let's do this. Say it with me. Take it off. a huge fan of yours and what you did with every song on this show what was your favorite song to perform for me the most fun was kind of the psycho queen like the um the angry bitter painted black <laughs> like the vengeful queen that was pretty oh, fun yeah, that was so Loved good <laughs> okay what you did on this show did you have fun doing it i had so much fun it was just crazy and one of the most extreme experiences I've ever had. Like I can barely see anything out of the mask. So this is the first time I've ever seen you guys. Yeah, this wow. is the first time I've seen what this room looks like. Oh my God. <laughs> so, no. so, yeah. Can I just ask you, that skirt that you had to get in and out of the whole time, it's like a little minivan. What was that like just to try and move with that thing on and how much did it weigh do you reckon? I think it weighs about 15 kilos. It's really bloody heavy and it's got momentum too. Like if I go in one direction, I've got to watch the inertia because <laughs> like pull me back. Oh, now I have to ask something, Kate. With one of the clues, we saw the map of Tassie with the tinsel. And then Danny said tonight that she thought it referred to your song, Growing a Beard Down There for Christmas. Was she right? I'm shocked to say she was, yeah. <laughs> it was a Christmas single to raise money for Bowel Cancer Australia. Ah, oh, beautiful. I've got to ask Kate, why did you come here? What are you doing here <laughs> on our show? It's super liberating, you know? Like I got to, yeah, leave myself and my own normal hang-ups behind and just step into this really strong, larger than life character. That incredible voice one more time to take us out to the break. Give it up for Queen. Give it up for Kate Miller High King.